Alrighty then ladies and gents, we are back today with another vlog and with another Premier League weekend predictions video of the series. Every Friday night where we take a look at the upcoming Premier League fixtures for the weekend and there was a suggestion in the comment section of the last video saying why don't you do like a recap slash review in the midweek to look back at the games and see how well we did. And I think as of this week coming up, I'm going to do that after the weekend. We'll take a look at the games on say a Tuesday or a Wednesday, take a look back at the fixtures, see what I did right and what didn't go so well and what surprises there were and stuff like that. So that's going to be happening next week. But anyway, let's get into this weekend's fixtures, just get them up on my screen. I'm going to start off with the early kickoff, which is Tottenham versus Newcastle at White Hart Lane. Great wins for both of these two sides last week. Spurs obviously beating West Brom 1-0. And a great three points for Newcastle, as in James's Park, against Chelsea, which is my team for those of you that don't know. And I think the fact that these two sides are in reasonably good form at the moment, it's going to be a good footballing spectacle. And my final prediction for this one is going to be a close game. And I'm going to say 2-2, even though Tottenham are at home. And if you were to take a look at the league table, you probably would say that Tottenham should edge it. But, you know, who knows what's going to happen. My prediction is 2-2. Chelsea versus Wigan is the next fixture we're going to look at. Maybe there were some decisions that didn't really go Chelsea's way last week. I don't want to start going into that into any great detail. Wigan 2-2 draw at home to Southampton, but Chelsea at the moment, it's, it's very frustrating to watch as a Chelsea fan. And I think that we're not really going to turn Wigan over like we've done to other teams at home this season. For example, the 8-0 demolition of Aston Villa, that's not going to be happening anytime soon. And I think Chelsea are going to get the three points, but I don't think it's going to be as convincing as some people may say on paper. And I think Chelsea are going to win this one 2-1. I don't really want to talk about Chelsea for much longer because I can go into God knows how many rants about what's going on at the club at the moment. But moving on to Norwich versus Fulham. Norwich last week, a good result away at Queen's Park Rangers, in my opinion. A 0-0 draw away at Q QPR. Considering they're bottom of the league, you may not say that that's a great result. But under Harry Redknapp in the Premier League, QPR are still unbeaten, which is a great sign for them. And I think they're going in the right direction. Maybe they need to start converting some of those draws into wins. We'll get onto Queen's Park Rangers when their fixture comes up in a moment's time. But Norwich, I think at home to Fulham, it's going to be a 1-0 home win. Fulham last week, of course, a 2-1 defeat at home to Manchester United on ESPN on Saturday evening. It was a pretty good game, and I think United were good value for their three points. But I'm going to say that Norwich, 1-0 winners in this fixture. Stoke versus Reading. Fortunately for me, I was at the Reading game last week again in a box with a friend of mine and my girlfriend, and it was a pretty good day. Reading played pretty well, picking up the 2-1 home win against Sunderland. Stoke lost 1-0 away at Arsenal, I think. Jesus Christ, I really should have thought about this more. But yeah, Stoke lost away at Arsenal. Lucas Podolski's deflected free kick, I think it was. And potentially this could be a result where Reading's good form does end but I think the way they're playing at the moment and the fact that Stoke haven't really been that convincing this side of Christmas I think it's going to be a close game I don't really think it's going to be the most entertaining game but I'm going to say 1-1 one, one. Uh, the next game we've got on my screen is Sunderland versus Arsenal watching Sunderland play against Reading last week they didn't really offer anything I thought that Fletcher played a pretty good game up front he was working really hard as he always does but I didn't really think that there was any sort of delivery towards him. I think that Sunderland, they've got a few missing pieces in the jigsaw for them at the moment. And at home to Arsenal, even though Arsenal aren't really playing that convincingly, they didn't really look that great value for that win against Stoke at home last weekend. But I think they're going to win this one 2-1. I think that Sunderland under uh, Martin O'Neill, I don't really know what direction they're going in. They seem to be going up and then they just go straight back down again. Not literally down into the championship, I mean, as in their performances and their results. But I think that Arsenal are going to come away with a 2-1 win in this one. Swansea versus QPR. This is an intriguing fixture for me when I look at this one on paper. Swansea, you guys know from what I was saying last week, I've got a lot of respect for Swansea. I think they're a great footballing side and I think they're really going places in the Premier League. And QPR, considering they're still unbeaten in uh, January and February under Harry Redknapp, I think they're going to give Swansea a good game. But at the Liberty City Stadium, I think the Swansea, they're going to come away 2-1 winners. They were very, very poor in the 1-0 defeat away at West Ham last week. So, you know, maybe the confidence isn't going to be as high as it was a couple of weeks ago after the League Cup beat win against Chelsea and stuff. But I think the Swansea, they're going to win it 2-1. I think it's going to be a pretty good game. Southampton versus Manchester City. In my opinion, this is going to be the most entertaining fixture of the weekend. I think Southampton last week, 2-1 defeat. Manchester City, the 2-2 draw against Liverpool. That was a really, really good game. Some fantastic goals scored in that game. Aguero's goal, it deserves a round of applause. It was just incredible. Just sheer tenacity to be able to go for that from there was just incredible. And I think Manchester City, I think they're going to win the game, but I think it's going to be a really, really good game. I think it's going to be Southampton 2, Manchester City 3. That is my prediction. It's going to be a close one. And even though Man City aren't really conceding a lot of goals at the moment, I think the goals last week for Liverpool was fantastic from Sturridge and Gerrard. But, you know, I think Southampton have got a lot going forward. They've got a lot to offer. I think it's going to be a good game. And I think Man City are going to come away 3-2 winners. Definitely watch that space for that fixture. 
Aston Villa versus West Ham. A good win for West Ham last week at home to Swansea. And Aston Villa, a great result for them away at Everton after all of the things that are going on at that club at the moment. They really do not look like a Premier League side all in all. But they played some really good football last week. Benteke looks like a good player up front if he gets the right service from the wings. And I think this is going to be another pretty good game on Sunday. I think it's going to finish 2-2. I think the West Ham away from home, they've not always been so convincing. And I don't really think that I've got any confidence in Aston Villa to say, yep, Villa are definitely going to win this one because you never know what you're going to get from Aston Villa. So 2-2 is my prediction for that one. Manchester United versus Everton. Wow, what a fixture this was last season. The 4-3, I think, no, it's 4-4. I can't remember exactly, but, you know, I think this is going to be another classic at Old Trafford. But I think that Manchester United this season, even though people are saying they don't have the best squad, they've got a very, very strong team. And what I mean by a strong team is they work well together. Everyone seems to know what's going on. They always seem to know where everyone is. And the fact they've got Van Persie in the middle, up front, he's pretty much pulling the strings for them this season. And I think with him up front... And I think Rooney's coming back from injury now as well. He played, scored last night against Brazil in the game that I watched for England. And Rooney's coming back into some form as well. I think United are going to have too much for Everton. I'm going to say 3-1, but it's going to be another great game. And I think Everton are definitely going places as a club as well. Liverpool versus West Brom is the final fixture of the weekend on Monday night. Uh, Liverpool, great result for them last week against Man City on paper. 2-2, they probably did deserve to win the game if you actually watched it. Uh, West Brom, 1-0 defeat at home to Spurs. I think West Brom, the whole Odin Wingy situation doesn't help them at the club at the moment. But I think that they should just move on from that. It's not the first time that we've seen a player at a club wanting to leave and just trying to, you know, force a transfer through. I don't want to talk about that for too long. But I think Liverpool are going to win it 2-0. I think that they're playing some great football at the moment. I think they've got a lot of potential in that Liverpool side to go places in upcoming seasons. And I think they're going to convincingly beat West Brom 2-0 on Monday night. But anyway, guys, I realise it's been a bit more of a bit more of a jumbled up week, I guess. It's not really been as structured as, structured as it was last week. I'm on the vlog hype today. I've recorded like three videos already. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And we will be back in midweek to take a look at my predictions. Good luck if you're putting any money on. And I'll speak to you soon. Peace.